These two phones are remarkably similar, but don't let the surface fool you. There's a lot of differences when it comes to the LG Optimus G Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So how are they the same yet different at the same time? Well, let's take a look at that now. At first glance, it's easy to see how someone might confuse these two devices as being similar, but when you take a closer look, it's, there are obvious differences between the two. For starters, the Optimus G Pro is slimmer than the Galaxy Note 2. Now, I know it's just a little bit slimmer, you know, the G Note isn't that much wider, but it is a difference that you will notice. Otherwise, they're about the same height, about the same thickness, uh, but curiously, when you hold it, you don't really feel that much of a difference between the two. I actually think the Galaxy Note 2 is nicer to hold because of the coating on it. You know, they're both glossy plastic, but this has a nicer finish to it that feels a little bit uh, cooler, a little bit nicer. While on the Optimus G Pro, it, it tends to pick up residue a lot. You can see the fingerprints on there. When you move your fingerprint around, it doesn't appear as quickly on the Galaxy Note 2, even though it does appear. Uh, so that's one advantage that the Galaxy Note 2 has over the Optimus G Pro. Aside from that, when you look at the screens, they're both 5.5 inch display, okay? But you know, again, you notice there are differences. There, uh, the Galaxy Note 2 tends to be a little more red. That's because this is a Super AMOLED display, so the reds are going to pop a little more. Uh, so you'd think that, okay... Nicer colors, Galaxy Note 2 has the advantage? Not at all. The advantage actually goes to the Optimus G Pro because this is an IPS display, so your reds won't jump out at you as much, but it'll still be a very nice display with very good colors, very good brightness, and the big thing, this is a 1080p display. The resolution is far going to outpace what you're going to get on a Galaxy Note 2. So in terms of just looking at the screen, the Optimus G Pro is hands down the winner. It's not even a debate. It's much better. The screen is just one of the areas in which the Optimus G Pro takes the advantage in terms of hardware. Or actually, I should say it's one of many areas. Uh, in case you were wondering which is the more powerful device, let me just save you the time. It's this one. Now, don't get me wrong, the Galaxy Note 2 definitely holds its own. It's a fast device. But the Optimus G Pro has a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 600 processor. And it just flies around and it handles everything that you do and it zooms in and out of apps fairly quickly. Now, uh, aside from that, it has a 3140 milliamp battery, which is above the 3100 of the Galaxy Note 2. Now, just the 40 milliamp might not seem much, but it, you actually do notice it in terms of having a few extra minutes to send tweets or make phone calls. It actually has standby time that's twice as long as the Galaxy Note 2, so that's nothing to sneeze at. Both devices support LTE and HSPA+. Uh, both devices support micro SD slots that are up to 64 gigabytes. But in terms of internal storage, the advantage once again goes to the Optimus G Pro because this has up to 32 gigabytes of internal storage. The Galaxy Note 2 has up to 16 gigabytes in their standard models. Uh, a couple of other differences. You'll notice that the speaker is down here at the bottom on the Galaxy Note 2 and it's up near the top on the Optimus G Pro. Neither speaker is particularly impressive, but they both have acceptable volumes whether you're listening to music or if you're on a call and you turn on speaker mode. Of course, when you talk about software, one of the best software features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is its support for this little guy, the S Pen. It's basically a little digital stylus that allows you to draw or make handwritten notes. But aside from that, you can do other things. When you go into the gallery app, when you hold down on the S Pen and hover above an album, it gives you a preview of certain images in that uh in that uh, folder so I can have a, a nice way to browse. I can also use the S Pen to skip uh, in videos or I can preview my email. But aside from that, it has the S Note application which is really good in case you're someone who needs to do planning or you're someone who's artistic. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So for instance, let's say I'm in a meeting. I can start recording these little voice notes and while everyone is discussing things, I'm taking notes and I have uh, little reminders for myself. I've actually been using this to conduct interviews and it's come in handy a lot. So when I'm done in the meeting, I can stop the recording. Start recording these little voice notes 
And you see, this works as a nice little backup for me, as well as giving me uh, more context to the things that I wrote. So it's not just saying notes, you know, I've got the actual audio recording that I can turn back to. The Optimus G Pro uh, doesn't have quite the feature, but it actually has it split up into two separate apps. You have Notebook, which is going to allow you to draw and, you know, make your little notes with your finger. You can do kind of the same things that you saw me do on the Galaxy Note 2. Or aside from that, you can go to Notepad, which is the more traditional version of entering text notes. Uh, you can actually add attachments uh, like audio, video, record. And so you can do the same things, but it's split into different apps. But aside from that, there is one clever use that they have uh, for its own little uh, finger recognition, which is Quick Memo. So let's say I'm in the dollar, I'm in a phone conversation and someone's giving me information that I need to take down. If I tap Quick Memo, it allows me to draw on screen. So I can write a memo and say, uh, Bob's number or something. And then they say, oh, this is Bob's number. It's 305-555, blah, blah, blah. So that allows me to, while I'm doing something, uh, complete another task without having to exit out. So it's useful in that regard. The LG Optimus G Pro has a lot going for it. When I say a lot, I do mean a lot, but it also has some negatives. Mainly the coating on the device picks up a lot of smudges and that gets annoying. And at times this can feel like it's a little bit too much phone. But when you look at the performance, there is so much to love about this device. It has a long lasting battery. It's super fast, super, super fast. I can't get over that. Uh, it does a very good job and it has a wonderful 1080p display. And it has a lot of little things that you pick up along the way. You can actually control your television with at the same time, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is no slouch either. Now keep in mind, this came out uh, nearly six months ago, maybe a little bit longer, and it's still holding its own by being a great device. Now it's not gonna give you the same level of performance that you'll get on the Optimus G Pro, but in terms of just having the ability to draw things, to take notes, uh, this is a nice little digital assistant to have with you at all times. It's still gonna give you good battery life. It's still gonna give you decent performance performance and it's going to give you the S Pen which can be a real game changer for some people. Now this is still going to have apps that run fairly well on here. You're going to have a lot of options and in terms of just the onboard software it has a better browser, it has a better music player than the Optimus G Pro. So there might be some things to sway you to this but at the end of the day if you're someone who's uh, chasing specs you want the best screen, you want the better battery life, you want the faster performance the Optimus G Pro is going to be the device that you want. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is still a very good device even after all the time has passed and the Galaxy Note 3 will probably be, be even better. But as for, in terms of today, in terms of right now, what you can go to AT&T and buy, I think the Optimus G Pro is the better phone. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com taking a look at the Optimus G Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, there's a lot of G's in that sentence. But anyway, this is Andrew. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to click like and subscribe. And if you haven't, you can check out the Optimus G Pro at AT&T right now.